Hello everyone and welcome to Healthy Cooking with Shada. I'm your host and this is where I teach you how to make healthy plant-based meals that are salt, oil, and sugar-free. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please consider doing so at this time. I would really love it. And you could share all these videos with all your friends and family. And to those of you that have already subscribed to our YouTube, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. So today I'm going to make uh, one of my favorite salad dressings that is super simple, super easy to do. And it's um, a pomegranate orange salad dressing. Um, as you all know or may not know, but I love, love, love pomegranates. So, and now is the season for it. But the pomegranate molasses that I use is by, by who? Al Wadi. And I'm going to post, um, I'll, I'll put the link to this in the show notes for you guys so you can order it. Um, the reason I like this one is because there's no sugar added to this. It is the pure pomegranate juice. A lot of the pomegranate molasses that are out there, especially in the Middle Eastern stores, they add sugar to it. So we don't want that. We don't need the extra sugar. This is delicious completely on its own. So we don't need it. So if you can, um, when I post a link to the Amazon page, please try to get this one. Or, you know, sometimes I know AJ found this in a supermarket one time and she called me and she's like, oh my God, you're not going to believe it. I found the molasses that you use. Um, and I forget what the name of the grocery store that she found this. So keep an eye out for it. You may be able to find it in the grocery stores. All right, so let's get started. So the equipment that I'm using to make the salad dressing is Tribest. And I like this. And Kathy Fisher um, introduced me to this machine. It's, it's great because it comes in the big cup. It comes in a smaller cup. It's got the blades. It'll, you know, it'll break everything down. And what's nice about it is I don't have to dirty up a big Vitamix to make a small salad dressing. Um, this is the perfect size and it's easy, super easy to clean. And you'll see how easy it is uh, for me to use it. So let's get started. We are going to need six tablespoons of fresh orange juice. Now I've already gone ahead and I've juiced the orange juice so it makes it easier. So I always have and Aaron always laughs at me because I always have fresh squeezed lime juice, sometimes lemon juice, and orange juice. That way, whenever I need it, it's there and I can have it. The store-bought lime juice, hmm, I'm not trying to be a snob, but I just don't like it. So this is much tastier. And a lot of times when you go to the international markets, they have the limes on sale. And I was at Super King, I think about a week ago, a week and a half ago, and they had big limes, like about this big. They had it on sale for 10 for a dollar. So guess what? I bought 40 of them. And I juiced all 40, and they're in the refrigerator, they're ready to go, and I go through them pretty quickly. So if you find them on sale, stock up and juice it and put it in there. And if you're not going to use it all, you can actually take your lime juice and put it in your ice cube tray and freeze it. And that way, whenever you need it, you can defrost one of them, or you could throw it in your soups, in your stews, whenever you, whatever, however you might need it. So we're gonna start with six tablespoons of orange juice. And I'm also going to be putting in, where is it? Oh, right in front of me, half a cup of cashews. And these cashews are raw, by the way. Now, we are going to add four tablespoons. You want to shake it up a little bit of lime juice. And I guess if you didn't have lime and you had lemon, they're pretty interchangeable, I think. I mean, you could use it. Okay, so now we're going to add one small shallot in here.
And then we're going to add our pomegranate molasses. All right, so now we're going to, we're going to start with um, a quarter cup to a half a cup of water in here. And I say that because after you let it sit for a little while, it might, it will thicken up a bit, but it's also to your liking as to what thickness you want. I typically like it a little bit more runnier than thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and add a half a cup in here um, and do that. And also for those of you that are trying to keep this nut free, you can definitely, instead of using the cashews, you can substitute and use a half a cup of cannellini beans. So either way is fine. Okay. So then we're going to, to put the top on. This machine is so easy to use. How easy is that to make a salad dressing? And there's the perfect amount in here. So let's taste it so that way you can adjust the seasonings in case you want to add more orange juice, more lime juice. For my taste, I really like the ratios of this. So again, start with a half a cup, start with a quarter of a cup. I know I didn't because I know what I like and it's a half a cup and then increase it and go from there. So here we have our finished product of the pomegranate orange salad dressing. So our salad dressing is done. Now what I would do is I would take this and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for about an hour and two hours before serving it on top of the salad. Now this salad dressing is actually really good on potatoes, on steamed vegetables, on salads. I mean, you'll find many uses for it. So it's not just for this recipe. Um, you can use it for a lot of things. And if you make it so it's not as watery, like you do a quarter of a cup of water and make it a little bit thicker, sometimes I have used it with crudite and I've done it with, you know, as a dip. So try it, try all different things with it. It's, it's absolutely delicious, especially if you love citrusy um, salad dressings. So I want to thank you for watching another episode of Healthy Cooking with Shada. Please make sure to share this um, video with your friends and family and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember guys, it's one bite at a time, one meal at a time, and until we see you soon. Bye.